a local retirement community has made a place to grow. Naperville News 17's Evan Summers has more from Monarch Landing. On any given day, this garden is buzzing with activity. Located on Monarch Landing's 80-acre campus, this 900-square-foot butterfly garden is full of native prairie wildlife, designed with monarchs in mind. For the monarchs, you want to have milkweed because the caterpillars only, only feed on milkweed. And so in this particular garden, uh, I've got five different species of milkweed. The milkweed has a latex like sap and it contains alkaloids. And when the, the caterpillars feed on the alkaloid-based leaves, they ingest that and that becomes part of their system. So when a predator comes and then tries to eat them, it leaves a very bitter taste in their mouth, L literally a very bitter taste. But there aren't any caterpillars here yet, as it is just the beginning of butterfly season. That's because monarchs migrate up here from Mexico, usually arriving in late summer or early fall. We're kind of at the end of their journey, I and mean, they, don't, they don't migrate further than southern Canada. Uh, so we're kind of at the end of the road. In the meantime, there are plenty of other creatures making this garden their home. We tend to have a lot of finches here, and, and uh, we get hummingbirds because of the, the cardinal flowers. Uh, in terms of pollinators, we see all different kinds of bees. For the animals and, and bees to, in the area to have a, a constant feed, they have to have multiple sources. And this is one of those places. A place cultivated and cared for completely by the residents of Monarch Landing. Like Bill Lannon, who has a passion for restoring prairie wildlife to Illinois. It was a piece of my childhood growing up, and uh, there was this movement to kind of uh, recreate some of what we lost, and that's really what this is all about. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Evan Summers. You can still attract monarchs to your own garden by planting a mature milkweed.